we found out about Challenge for Climate Action, a competition aimed at doing good, we jumped on the opportunity. The prompt that we were given was find a problem that is happening because of climate change and find a solution to it. And so we came up with a problem space that had to do uh, with dairy pasteurization, so milk pasteurization. I actually grew up in Oman where we had an outbreak of MERS and MERS is a coronavirus that is specifically spreading more because of climate change. We tried to tackle that problem and really ideated, tried to find a solution that was both low cost, accessible to pretty much any rural farmer or herder and was simplistic enough for them to be able to use and um, essentially action to the disease-ridden milk. We went through that process and actually ended up winning the competition. And that kind of all culminated into actually going to Rwanda and actually testing the handle there. The Rwanda itself is a beautiful country. It's coined the land of a thousand hills and it's extremely hilly but beautiful. The weather was on our side even though it was supposed to rain. But what I think my biggest takeaway was, it was almost seeing our idea come to life and the confidence that I think it gave us as a team but also in ourselves and the ability to actually be able to see something through and be able to build something, I really did feel it there. Essentially what the handle does is take this really large process of pasteurization and minimize it into one handle that can be used by all farmers essentially. Traditional pasteurization is like a really large industrial process, it requires expensive machinery. We needed to kind of take that whole process and miniaturize it into like three different components. One of those components is temperature measurement as well as regulation of the milk. Number two is essentially whisking the milk, so making sure that the milk is in constant movement as it's being heated. And then number three is actually giving a reading to the farmer when the milk's been pasteurized. So pasteurization is just sterilization at really, really high temperatures. And so what the handle does is essentially provide a control unit for that whole process so that when a farmer or a family that uses the actual handle for milk pasteurization, they have an exact gauge of when pasteurization has occurred. So it, may, it ensures good quality milk as well as good tasting milk. Obviously, there's a lot of questions that you ask yourself before you go, like, what will they think of us? Will they reject us? They were so nice and welcoming. I think the biggest takeaway or biggest piece of learning I could share is that it is so important when you're building a product or a service to really empathize with your end user and really understand what they want. You could build the most incredible product, but if it doesn't meet their exact needs, then it might not really work out, especially for implementation. So going forward, we're far from being done and far from stopping. We have quite a couple things lined up, but before we can even get to those, we need to finish up with our prototype. We still need to iterate on some of the feedback that we got from the ministries and the regulators in Rwanda, and we'll definitely be using the lab some more. The next couple of steps are gonna be essentially taking that product and prototype that we've uh, developed at Velocity and making it production ready. All of this is gonna be kind of building towards that ultimate goal of having a handle in pretty much every single farmer or family's hand within Rwanda that needed.